Hello, and welcome to episode 10 of Tip for Tip, where you ask your marketing question in exchange for a tip in your industry. My name is Aaron. And my name is Christian, and today we're going to be talking about specifically service-based industries. Should they be on Instagram or Snapchat? And our tip is coming from Michelle Nelson, and she's going to be talking a little bit about the lymphatic system. Michelle, let's hear your question. Hi Christian, hi Aaron. My question for you guys today is about Instagram and Snapchat. So since I offer a service and I don't sell an actual product, would either one of those benefit me in my business? And if so, then how do I begin? How do I get followers? I actually see a lot of service-based industries on Instagram and Snapchat. So just because you're a service-based industry and don't have a physical product to sell doesn't mean that you shouldn't be on those platforms I think they both would be beneficial for you Instagram with their advertisement and their targeting options uh, you can actually you know get to reach a lot more people more easily than snapchat and snapchat just brings in its own its its own thing because you you have those raw videos and pictures of what's going on in your life in in, in your industry in your company right there and then and a lot of people can see that, they can see and, and relate to the real you and who's behind that company. So I think they're both great platforms. Now to your question, how do you grow those platforms? Basically just take it out of your own time. See what you can handle right now. If you're on Facebook right now and maybe you can handle just doing Snapchat maybe once a day. Just do a quick video, let know uh, to your followers what, what's going on. and. And I'm sorry, to answer the, your question about growing your audience, basically you want to cross-pollinate between your social media accounts and make sure that people on Facebook know that you're on Snapchat or Instagram, for example. And the other great way to grow an audience is to just be a part of that community. So just because you're on Instagram and you're posting pictures and you're doing all this stuff doesn't mean that you're you know, in that community or growing with that community. So you need to make sure that you're liking other pictures, that you're commenting, creating conversation, following other people, other businesses around this area, which is very easy to do on, on Instagram. So how do you grow it? Make sure that you're a player too and be a part of that community as well. Yes. And I probably will lean more towards Snapchat just because it allows you to do be more human for for your industry in the lymphatic system, uh, or for the lymphatics for life, rather, it's there's a certain level of trust that someone has to have with you. And on Snapchat, you can showcase more about who you are and the things that are valuable in your life. You can share as much or as little as you want. But the audience is a lot more receptive. It's raw video, and they get to know more about who you are. And so once they understand who you are and you create that relationship, then they're more likely to go to your business and refer other people to your business for that. And I think that you know Instagram is also a great avenue. You can take your videos from Snapchat and upload them to Instagram or send people from Snapchat to Instagram or your Facebook or website. So either one of those is a great option. I'm leaning more towards Snapchat right now just because of your industry and I would like to Although I do know about it now, I would like to see more people be educated on what it exactly it is you do. And I feel like that could break down more barriers on Snapchat. So hopefully that will help you. And let's see what kind of tip you have for us. So here's a tip for keeping your lymphatic system functioning properly, which keeps your immune system boosted. First, there's movement. So if you're one of those people that sit behind a computer all day, I want to encourage you to take some extra breaks, get up, walk around, keep that circulation going. Second is proper breathing. So you want to breathe from down here in your diaphragm, not from your chest. So when you're taking in a nice deep breath, your chest shouldn't move. So proper breathing will help relieve stress levels, which will also help us think more clearly. So I want to thank Bit Branding for all your hard work and for answering my questions. So you guys have an awesome day. Bye. Michelle, that's actually a great tip and something that we implemented a few months ago, but we haven't been doing it lately. And it was every hour, we had a little whiteboard over here, and every hour we would get up and actually do push-ups or squats or sometimes even abs mm -hmm. just to get the blood flowing. And those are the days that you know we usually just sit in the office all day working on the computer. Mm -hmm. And... It would definitely help out. It will definitely get the blood flowing 
and uh, I think the only thing that we need to really get on is the breathing mm -hmm. exercises. Yeah, we were just trying to do that earlier. Breathe without using our chest like rising soup. So definitely need to practice that. And I know that I have done it a few times before and it does make you feel a lot better. It clears your head. So thank you for that tip and thank you for getting on to us. I hope the rest of our audience is using this and benefiting from it. And if you would like to jump on Tip for Tip or have your business featured on Tip for Tip, you can go to bitbraining.co forward slash tip for tip and fill out the submission form there. And then we will contact you with some more information and get you on the show. I think that's it for this week.